The doctor cuts Jim's scalp, drills into Jim's skull, takes out Jim's skull, pulls out the steel rods inside. Jim sits in the car, his head pierced by steel rods. Bobby and the rescue team measure the radio waves on Jim, asking him where it hurts. Jim says he is in great pain. Why don't they rescue him? Bobby says he can't move right now. The injuries are very complicated. Bobby films Jim's condition, shows it to him. Jim watches himself in the video, asking why he didn't die. Bobby says he's the luckiest and unluckiest at the same time. Jim says they should have rescued him before he felt the pain. Bobby says they will try to find the best emergency personnel. Bobby ties Jim to a chair, gets into the rescue vehicle. Bobby cuts off the excess steel rods. The doctor pushes Jim into the hospital, locking Bobby and the team outside. Jim lies on the hospital bed and the surgery begins. Jim had the accident because of a marriage proposal. Jim sets up a dinner, takes a sip of wine, kneels down on one knee, takes out a ring, proposes to his girlfriend. His girlfriend rejects him, saying he and the ring are both beautiful, but she betrayed her ex-boyfriend a week before the wedding, and she dislikes commitment, decides to break up with him. Jim tries to win her back, but is rejected again. Buck and his teammate play a game. The teammate snatches the game controller from Buck. Jim walks in, opens the refrigerator. Jim asks his teammate if he is handsome, if he can be a good husband. The teammate answers, absolutely. Jim says he proposed to his girlfriend and was rejected. His girlfriend betrayed an ex-boyfriend he didn't know about and wants to break up because of it. Buck says breaking up may be the best choice. Jim takes a sip of water, questions Bobby. What is the meaning behind the best choice? Share all your thoughts and says he's had enough of Bobby always criticizing them. But when they ask, he always stays silent and doesn't answer. Everyone works together but knows nothing about Bobby. Never seen his wife and children. Buck tells Jim, you live in lies, creating heroic stories for your girlfriend. She likes the fictional version of you. Jim argues that it's because Bobby doesn't assign him difficult tasks. He can also do well. Buck says, I believe you can accomplish more glorious tasks, but you've been living in lies. Even your proposal dinner was made by me. Jim angrily walks out, gets in the car, turns the volume to the maximum, accelerates and overtakes the truck in front. The car starts shaking. Jim stops the car on the side of the road. The truck crashes into him. Bobby receives a distress call, notifies the team that Jim had an accident. Everyone rushes to rescue him. The team runs down from the building, drives the rescue vehicle and sets off.